Uh, Richard, the first game looked pretty quiet, let's say, but from from our perspective, but Armageddon was really crazy. So what can you say? Uh, yeah, you know, the first game also, I mean, he plays this uh, London system. I actually recently had a few games where this, I don't know why. And then I felt like I got a good position, like, but then I started to play too passively. I mean, uh, I think I should have taken on C4 instead of C5 probably, but... Um, so I did this and then he, he had this uh, nice idea with bishop g3 and it's a bit unpleasant, you know, it's like uh, uh, objectively probably it's fine, but it's just unpleasant. And that was basically the whole game, like I felt like I had to uh, find some precise moves to, um, to to stay in the game, but like objectively it should be fine. So yeah, certainly uh, it helped that I had lots of, I mean, I had enough time to, to solve all the problems and then it seemed quiet. But actually there was lots of calculation uh, required from the boss of us. Yeah. The second game, Armageddon, you managed to get this um, rook and bishop for the queen. I mean, it was interesting try. Uh, yeah, like, uh, okay, I played Scandinavian yet again for luck, but it um, didn't work. Um, something I must have, uh, okay, I don't know, I felt like I mix, uh, messed up something, but then I have the possibility, uh, when I had bishop on e4, like, uh, black should be fine, I mean, you know, pretty much. And then I played bishop d5, like, it's a classical bliss move, because I was in between playing something like b5 or bishop d5. And then uh, bishop d5, he will not castle, of course, right? He'll just trapping my bishop, so I should have started with b5, the whole thing. And then probably it would be okay, or just to, you know, put the bishop to h7 and just play like uh, this Karakhan style position. And I have uh, done neither of these things, and then probably I'm, I felt like I'm completely losing. But then, yeah, I managed to um, give the, the, the queen, and then also I managed to play b4, which I felt like, I mean, to stabilize on b4, which I felt like it was, you know, luxurious. But uh, somehow he let me, and then yeah, at one point it was very close. But my, I mean, with this time control, okay, you know, usually you are going to lose these things because time will just uh, go down, and uh, you will be on one second, and it's not enough to not to blunder. But yeah, it, on the other hand, I felt like you know I was making things easier. So maybe at one point I think I should have gone bishop c2 instead of bishop f5. Maybe that would have been a good chance, but I might be missing something. You know, I just had one second, I made a move, and I was like, ah, could have done something else. It might be completely stupid, yeah. But anyway, afterwards, he tricked me with this uh, d5 pin. I just missed that, you know, that I played king h6, and he took uh, c6, and uh, then d5 after rook b3. I mean, like, that generally was a, was a nice trick, and I fall for it, and that was it pretty much, yeah. Yeah, okay, but still, I mean, uh, um, now the last question about the standings. So how do you think about it after half a tournament? I mean, you are still leading? And even th even after this match, so what do you think about your performance so far? Uh, you know, uh, it could be better. Obviously, it could be worse as well. So I'm generally very happy. Um, the standings are kind of irrelevant because, as you said, it's just half of the tournament. And okay, uh, for instance, Jan is playing very strong. I'm very well. I mean, I think so. Like, uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if he would, <laughs> you know, overtake me very soon. So like, uh, I'm just you know trying to take it game by game and get the most out of my games. Today it was, you know, some unpleasant defense. Hopefully tomorrow it will be more fun for me. Thank you so much, Richard. All the best for the next games.